Another breakfast of champs. Good morning everyone, we're back. It is our final day. And we had the clock change again, so we gained an hour. So dad was like texting at like 5.30. He was like, I'm at the bar. Obviously the bar's not open, but that's where you're sitting. And I was like, nope, I am not getting out of bed until the wind jammer opens. So got up exactly at seven. Went to breakfast and it was more crowded than it usually is. We got there at like 7.15 because it's people were thinking it was like 8.15. So like everyone's body clock is a little different. So it was more crowded than it usually is. Then I went back to the room and I was like, you know what? I'm going to attempt it. I put on my bathing suit, went in the jacuzzi, and it was freezing. Even the water coming out was cold. I tried to move spots, another spot was a little warmer, but I didn't last long because it was so cold. So I quickly, I wore, if you are a Platinum and Above member, you get a robe, you just have to ask them to use on the ship. So I threw on my robe and I went right into the sauna at the gym and that was much better. <laughs> so it is about nine right now. So um, just gonna shower for the day, get ready, and then we're gonna head over to Bingo so we can actually get a table this time. So last time we showed up at like 10.30 and there were no tables left. So we're gonna get there for 10, starts at 10.45 and play some Bingo. The prizes were good last time. The first round was like $500, second round was I think like $600 and the last round was over $900. So if multiple people do win, you do split it. But I think two of the three, it was only one winner, so. Nice, and I do think the $10 shirt one is a great option because those cards, it goes by like blue, red, or and green, those are what you're playing for. The green prize was the biggest, it was over 900. I'm guessing people get more of those cards so it's harder to win, so that's why the prizes is, is more because more people buy into it. But for $10, we got six bingo cards and a t-shirt, and the t-shirt's nice, I wore it last night. so. I don't know if I'm gonna play yet. I'm not really a gambler, because if I lose like that 60 bucks down the drain, I could use that money for a lot. So I don't think I'm gonna play. If anything, I would just do this t-shirt again and just get another t-shirt and give it to someone else. Um, but just kidding, not doing bingo. No, I wanted to gamble. We were doing it, Bradley loves bingo, but he, I guess, forgot about it, so he's not asking, so we're not gonna do it. So I went up to deck 11. I'm trying to get ice cream, because every time I come, there's no chocolate ice cream. It's supposed to open in like three minutes, and no one's there, and it says maintenance. So I'm gonna be super mad if I don't get an ice cream. I only had one so far. My goal was every time I pass it is to get it, and it's not been working out for me. So I am sitting outside, and it's not horrible, and I am in the shade. And this is like the first time we can actually see the ocean water, so it's not foggy, so it's not bad. Um, the hot tub was bad because I was cold and wet, but sitting out here isn't bad. But I'm bummed because I really wanted to see the slides, but if I thought the hot tub was cold, then I can't do the boogie boarding and slides. So that will have to wait until summer, a summer cruise. So it just means we have to come back and do another one, which, I was gonna go over to the next cruise, and it's popping over there. Usually it's not, but, so, we'll see. Found mini golf. First time seeing it. You gotta go to the, uh, oh, he missed it. Oh, back there. No he missed it. This is the front, you walk to the back of the stage. Right. Dude, you take a picture from her? Wait for that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look we go. It's a little mini golf. The par is being like three, four. So it's tiny. But it's not crowded for being a sea day. No, no, no. 
Paz gotten two hole in ones. Whoa. And they have these uh, hand sanitizers literally everywhere on the boat. We brought our own to attach to our lanyards and we didn't need it. Like it was everywhere, it's filled everywhere, like in the parks. Disney and stuff, they stopped like refilling them. These are filled everywhere and it's literally everywhere you would need it. So, don't have to bring your own. We got some pickleball tournament going on and then in the back, is rock climbing. All right, we went to lunch at the main dining. Today's menu. And it's at 11.45. It was like a two minute wait just to get our table, but it does fill up. What are you getting? I, of course, got the Caesar salad. Kristen got the potato soup. Mm -hmm. And Bradley got the mac sticks. I got the pulled pork sandwich, and it comes with regular french fries, and then a steak frites again because I loved it. Um, and once again, it's just regular french fries. Kristen got the chicken sandwich. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, got the onion. Yeah. Looks good. Love and marriage show starts in 10 minutes. Coming back. So give it up for the ladies. There we go, one last. Watch your step right in there. Okay. There we go. Give it up for the ladies one more time. Here we go. 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 Here we I'm going to do the beef focaccio and the Caesar salad. And then I'm going to do the chicken. Say that again, I missed the chair. Can you do that one more time? No, tell us what you said. What are we cheers into? Great big, say that one more time, I didn't hear you. A great big chicken, no miscosia, hot box. And Kristen got the beef car truck, car, blah, 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 the beef as well, and rice balls. So I got the New York strip again. Kristen got that as well, and the risotto, and then and then trying chicken pot. All right, last night party time. Got the chocolate ice cream and a little special treat. I don't know what it is. What is it? Berry. Oh. Something berry. Berry crunch, I thought. Berry crunch, we'll say. And Kristen got the warm hazelnut. Time for some karaoke. Ladies and gentlemen, before I start, I would like to. Give me birth in three, two, one, and go! 
completely forgot to end the vlog that night. Uh, we got home really late and we had to pack to leave the next day. So I just completely forgot to finish. So this is me in the future, like a week later, to give my updates. So, <laughs> um, started off with breakfast as always, breakfast of champs. Tried the pool, the hot tub lasted two seconds. It was way too cold. So that was the bummer of the trip is how cold we were unable to use the pool. It was closed a lot of the trip, like completely just closed because it was pretty rocky at times and foggy. So it was closed. So it made the other areas extremely crowded because people couldn't go on the pool deck. And golf, that's a cute little thing. It wasn't too crowded. Uh, it's a nice option to do during like a slow time. And I went to see the Love and Marriage show, which is always my favorite show of the cruise. I always love to see everyone's answers. And we had a really good group of people. The middle group was my favorite. They were like the cutest couple. And the older couple had some like crazy answers. So it was, it was a really good show. Because of course it always just depends on how they answer, if it's going to be good or not. And dinner was Italian night. And on, we were the first itinerary of this cruise the four nights canada so we didn't really know going into it like what the menus were going to be until like three days before it popped up on the app because we were the first ones and it actually said we were going to have uk night but while we were on the cruise it ended up changing to italian night so got my steak as i get every night and gave the chicken parm a try and the sauce was better that night it wasn't as sweet as the other nights but dinner was always amazing our wait stuff was fantastic they brought us out so many meals to try uh so we literally tried i think everything on the menu every single night and everything was good we it was a typical hour and a half of dinner so it wasn't dragged out everything was warm service was great and we liked everything we had there wasn't really anything that was like disgusting it was just like more of a like the sauce like we prefer spicier sauces so it wasn't anything that would be like, we'll stay away from that. Like everyone likes their meals. Watch karaoke, and I was too scared to sign up, but I honestly could have. I'm always afraid I'm gonna be the only one that's like not a real singer. I can hold a tune, but I'm not a real singer. But honestly, I probably was the best singer that was was going. So I should have just went and had fun with it, but I get, I get too nervous. And we did the Girls for Sky show, and it said it was 18 and plus, but honestly, Bradley could have went. Um, the only thing is like there's some like innuendos with the balloon popping and you have to pop the balloon in like some some ways but honestly the guys in our group refused to even do it they sat down and they said they weren't doing it yeah so didn't even get to do it see that part so he would have been able to see it um but yeah it was a great cruise just the weather that was the biggest thing is we weren't able to do anything on the pool deck it was closed it was wet it was too cold to do anything so I'm bummed because I really did want to do the water slides and I was going to give the flow riders a chance but that's what you run into when you do a May cruise like you don't know what the weather's going to be like because honestly a couple days later the next cruise it was 80 in Canada and it was in the 70s here so like we would have had a, a good cruise so bummed that even ha um, Halifax we weren't able to really do much because we got off the boat and everything was closed and it was too cold to just sit and like be by the water. So if you didn't have an excursion, there wasn't much to do because of the weather. But overall, I loved it. I liked the boat, Liberty. The ship was really nice. Uh, old school, old school dining, which I prefer. The areas were all nicely kept. It's the rooms that need updating. Uh, the rooms itself weren't too bad. It was just like the outdated style But like the bathrooms are really worn down and crusty is the word I would use um, So not dirty, but like things that were like peeling and Like water stains and just wasn't like up to par with Ones that have been updated so that that needs some love But I would definitely go on her again and yeah, it was a great time and I had a great trip excited for whatever the next cruise will be and what the next trip will be and with that i say bye everyone